what's in the box. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, these are two boxes that I've had appear. I have paid for. Um, I've been waiting a very long time. Not a very long time. There is a pandemic on. Goodness me. Very impatiently, I've been waiting for about three to four weeks, which is actually pretty good, for this to turn up from Spain. Um, now, this is something that a, uh, a chap over there who uh, does make stuff. Let's have a look. Let's get one box open in a minute. I don't know why I'm teasing you because you're going to see it. But um, let's keep up the uh, let's keep it up while we're doing it. We've got a chap here who runs a company. I'm not sure whether this is what he does full time, whether this is something he does on the side. I'm not sure, but it's Resin Lab Models. So uh, that's the company. And um, as you can see, you may be thinking, what have we got? Something Lord of the Rings, Warhammer, uh, busts. No, we have two resin tanks from the Spanish Civil War in 135th scale, uh, made by um, Resin Lab models. So let's leave that there somewhere. Let's just keep that in the frame. So what we've got here first, um, I'm going to pick this one, the white box. So we do this one first. Uh, what we've got in here is a very nice little package. And... The tank in question is the Trubia Naval, which many of you may not have ever heard of, um, which is, uh, you know, fair enough, fair enough. So this is a uh, Spanish, these, these two are um, part of the Spanish uh, tank building program. Um, it was a bit ad hoc, if I'm honest, and... Um, it's hard to explain where it was all going because it's a bit odd, you know, it's all sort of coming out because the, the beginning of the war is arguably starting somewhere in 34 where there's a change in the government. I mean, it goes back longer than that, but if we take it just at that change to the Republican government and they, they push through a lot of changes and reforms, it's all a bit too much and the army get put out and that's when it starts building in the background. So you've got this sort of armouring uh, program that's going on way before that, but it does seem, just on the face of it, there's quite a lot of information on this out there, which I'm just trying to pull from memory here, I should have done some research. It all is very sort of based around the whole FT-17 kind of feel. Um, they had those over there, had some through the 20s, we're using them over in Morocco, uh, and it's it, it led to a very strange tank development, let's just say that. Uh, there was a whole load of stuff, and they're all based on this um, same chassis, chassis. Uh, and it gets a bit com convoluted and a bit confused, so I'm not going to go too far into it. If you Google it, one of the first things that will come up is... Uh, one of the best websites on it, to be honest, where they've written up all about it. So if you are interested, it's worth um, worth having a look, and you'll see all about it. And there's quite a lot of pictures of this uh, actual tank around. And um, they were used in the war. They were used by, I think they started off with the Republicans. I think they fell into the Republican side initially. And then, much like any other Republican tank, as soon as it was put into combat, quickly captured by the Nationalists. And there's a picture of... Um, this part of the turret painted in the red, yellow, red, uh, to denote it's a nationalist tank. So what we get here is a bag of resin. I'm not going to mention the price here either. Uh, you could argue what I paid is um, quite expensive, but the reason I'm not going to mention the price is because if you go off and, and check this guy out, uh, I think this was an introductory price he, he was doing, and I managed to get it and just paid for the extra postage. Mainly, he was dealing in Spain, from what I could see. Um, so, uh, that's what I got. Uh, you could argue it was quite expensive for what it is, uh, but I was happy to pay it. <laughs> but again, I'm not going to actually mention what it is, but if you just bear in mind that, you, you know, you can spend uh, £200, probably, on a, uh, a single golf club, you know, it's each to their own. This is this is a hobby. We love it. I did not spend two hundred pounds on this. Nowhere near it. <laughs> Just to make a point. But there we go. So what we get in this kit is four bits of resin. Now we've also got here. I think it is a few smaller delicate bits. So there we go. Let's just have a look. 
in this bag we've got a few bits have already come off but uh, let's I'll, I'll get them out because I, I know they're off so I can anticipate that so on here um, yeah it's kind of stuck there to static get that off. little um, kind of hook thing I don't know what you call it um, so we get four major components so we've got a massive block of resin here uh, which makes up the actual uh, tank hull then we've got the turret which is there and then we've got the two uh, track pieces or side parts of the hull as well and they just slot on you've got the tracks that go around a bit further on one side not quite so much the other side so it goes on like that obviously can't get it up there because of the casting block but we've got this piece here which slots on there and then it just tucks up and underneath the mud guards like that and then the uh, tracks just kind of disappear into the mud guard so all perfectly good no problem there we'll get on to the major parts in a minute but if we look at the finer parts we've got two gun barrels here uh, which are very very fine now i've got a little bit of damage here um i'm not sure whether that's actually flash yeah that's good so i don't have a bit of damage um that's so thin that's got to be just a protector i don't know i can't quite see i have to look at some of the um close rep pictures but we've got a bit so we've got very fine there on the ends just that's just what i'm showing don't know how much is showing up so that's the guns uh we get one in the um, hole it well, in the front sort of glassiest plate you've got a fixed gun there and then you've got one in the turret not sure what the size of this is i'll have more when we, we'll come to build this shortly and we'll have more there we've got clear resin here for the uh, lights now i believe weirdly uh, one light goes there but the other two go in the turret either side and then you've got the gun up the front there a very very odd thing um, quite an exciting little model this I mean you're not going to see many of these about that's why I've jumped on it this is um, my little treat to myself because uh, I feel like I worked quite hard this spring so I uh, <laughs> I went and bought two of these as they came out um, but not this particular tank we'll get on to that there's there is another one in the other box so what we've got here is um, some basically hooks and handles so we've got a handle on the door this is your instructions by the way that's why i'm pointing at this uh you've got to just use your references there's been stuff put up in the group already on facebook um very helpful images and there's people building these as well because there's quite a few of the chaps in spain have bought this and already uh, well away on it uh, in the painting and weathering so it's good to see um so it'll be very easy to place all these parts we've got a few small bits there as well very very finely um cast really really nice then we've got a few tools there as well um, and you make up your handles I've seen this when, when you bought it I can't remember where they go I did see it all the, he's got some built up on the Facebook page as well um, so you just check that out and you'll see but it's very very thin that spade is extremely well done so it's all very very nice very very nice and we've got two bits um, hanging off there as well so let's get into the actual uh, casting on the hole itself now i would explain this as um i don't know how it's been done but it's pulled a little bit soft here we can live with that because the important bit is all these louvers at the back here and they're extremely sharp very very well done and what we've also got now let's see if i can get in there hopefully you'll see there somewhere that it says true beer cannot see that in my small little screen but hopefully you're seeing that now on your tvs and um, various screens and we've got very nice sharpness down here you can see how good that is very minimal cleanup unfortunately on the front it's not quite as sharp it's a little bit soft around the bolts and it's a little bit well it's quite soft in there it's not as sharp unfortunately now i've been thinking about this because i got this before i went to work picked it up on the way through I'm thinking we can probably, with a knife, just sharpen that up a little bit. I think that's the only way around it. I don't want to do too much. It's going to be very difficult to make those uh, letters up. Um, and it's 
a little bit soft in places which is going to be the case because you've got all this detail on there the way it's pulled to get that flat it's going to you know it's going to be hard to get the definition it's very easy to sort that out i've been thinking about this and i think if you sort of run around with a scriber or a knife um it's the same thing as when you get a short run uh or resin even aircraft so you've got that panel line down there it's very easy not using a knife but you just run down there with a scriber for instance just pick that out and well you've got the other panels here as well you've got this like raised plate just sharpening that up as well so all um there is a little bit to do uh even those four bits but you know obviously this is going to be uh you know built in an afternoon and straight into primer uh now it'll be worth checking when you've got all the i i think probably what i would do is go around and clean this up personally the best i can from what you can see and then get it into primer and see what you're left with and then that will highlight if there's any sort of air bubbles imperfections then you just use a little bit of filler to get rid of all of that and that and, uh, you'll be away so it's pretty good but uh, you know for what it, it I, i'm very 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 happy with this it's very nice good solid bit of resin there as well look at that blimey it's got a nice weight to it so that's the main hull uh, and then the side walls all the running gear it's all sort of enclosed in there again very very nice uh, soft in a few places due to the nature that we just discussed so just sharpening that up just rescribing it a little bit if you want to it's probably fine i mean you know, it's going to be hard to tell until you've got some primer on there so it's going to need a wash as well i can feel it's a little bit as resin is there we go tracks look very nice got them all on there as they go around and we've got it on the rear portion as well they all sit quite low i've noticed these um these tanks so you're not going to see very much from well you won't see anything from the underside because they they do they sit really really low so you don't have to worry about much of that and there we go look at that it's here i you know i'm very 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 happy with it very happy this is right up my street and fits very well with the new series now here there's actually a, a plate there so i was worrying that we have to sand this bit off we don't we need to get rid of the lug obviously and then we just sharpen this bit up because that lip is meant to be there so we just sharpen that up a little bit you know typical resin kind of just sorts itself out generally once you give it a bit of a nudge just kind of go around like that and then cut it back one little pop there we go there we are <clears throat> and then you just sharpen that up as you go around like this Something like that is very easy, and then you're away. So very minimal stuff. There's obviously not much building to be done, but uh, there's plenty to do. So there we go. That is the resin lab models. Um, again, check out. There's the information. Have a look on the website if you like. You know you're interested. Uh, just drop him a message and see how you get on not sure how much of a run of these he's doing i've got no idea whether there's any available i just saw it at the beginning of june and um jumped on it on the last day of pre-order uh but there we go so the trubia naval what an unusual thing i never thought i'd be bringing one of these to the uh channel but it doesn't have fit in right now so there we go stay tuned and you will definitely be seeing this one uh very shortly